Hey guys, this is Matt Kids in a One. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install something called Think. Think allows you to install Unix applications that are for other Unix platforms on your Mac. Think will install a command called apt-get, which will allow you from terminal to install packages that you could normally not get on your Mac. There are a few things I've installed with Think, such as Aircrack NG. I've also installed um something called RAR, which is a compression algorithm, and more. So I'll show you how to install Think easily. So first of all, you want to open up your web browser because we're going to use our web browser to download a file. You want to go to thinkproject.org slash download. Okay, once it's done loading, wait a second. Um, you want to click the binary for your OS. So this one's for Intel and this one's for PowerPC. Intel and PowerPC are different, so I click the Intel version. So since my Mac is Intel. So once it's done downloading, you want to open it up with Finder and open up the DMG. So once the DMG is unmounting, let me just skip this, it's going to open this with Finder window up for you. So you just want to open Think. Um, Intel installer and this will show you easy to follow instructions on how to install it. So I'll click continue, 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 agree, select my Macintosh HD, continue, install. So once it's done installing, which will only take a few moments after you type your password, um, you'll have a few more terminal commands You'll have something added to your path. There will be all this complex stuff. But so, once it's done installing, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so it's finished setting it up. So it says setting up your Fink environment. Your environment seems to be correctly set up for Fink already. So that will probably not happen for you, but it happened to me. So once you open up Terminal, or iTerm, after it's done installing, you'll be able to, if, if you if type apt-get, It'll bring up a list of options and stuff. If that doesn't happen, then type slash sw slash bin slash path setup dot sh. So this will um, set up your path, and if it is already set up, then it'll bring up this window. So so now when you type app dash get space install space and then the name of a package, say RAR, it'll ask you to install it. You have to do sudo before that. But this is a nice way to install Linux apps on my computer. So once you're done installing whatever, RAR isn't actually a package. Um, I'll show you some packages that work later. Like I know Joe is a package. Um, it, it'll normally, after it's done installing, you'll be able to type the command in. And hey, cool. There's my Joe. You can also type sudo apt-get. Um, remove space and then the name of the thing and I'll just remove Joe. Joe's a text editor. So if you want to open up a GUI version of AppGet to install programs on your computer within this finder window there will also be a file called um, under Fink Commander there will be a few things so I'll just drag Fink Commander inside of the finder window that it opened up when I first unmounted. I'll drag it into my apps. So now in my applications, I'll have Fink Commander. I'll open it up. Open. So here's Fink Commander. It's the GUI for Fink. It lets you see all the applications that are available right now. Um, it's pretty cool. So this is loading. Now Fink, there are a lot of things that Fink does that don't always work. So if Fink doesn't work when you set it up, that's okay. I will, I will try to fix, I will try to help all of you. So... As you can see, there are just loads and loads of useless programs, and some of them are useful. I'll just search for RAR. Like, you can get the, um, ooh, look, UnRAR. I'll install this. And you can also install source code if you like to. Oh. It'll ask me to run my password. Whatever. So, normally you have to run this program as root, so... Um, so I'll show you how to do that in another episode. So, but these are a bunch of great, um, things that you can install, like kedit. I'm not sure kedit ever worked for me. 
but K edits a text editor. So this is cool in my opinion because Fink allows you to install programs using terminal. And if you're a Linux user and you've noticed that you can't type apt get install in terminal, well this is how to get apt get install. So I'm just pointing it out that there's a great program called Fink. And um say say um when you open up Fink there are no packages in this list. All you have to do to update the packages Fink. is type scan packages and once that's done you can um, type think index so that's how to set it up you run think scan packages and think index and terminal if it's not working for you so I'm installing a package with think right now using the app get terminal command so just to review after you've installed think you should type think um, scan packages and think index in terminal and then you can type app dash get install in terminal and it'll install um, a terminal application right onto your computer so the one I installed earlier called Joe it's a text editor so if you want to try out Joe be my guest install think and install Joe so this is think it's a really cool way to install Unix programs on your Mac I think it's great and awesome and there's no reason why you shouldn't install it. It only takes like half a gig or even less, I think. So it's it's very very lightweight compared to other things. So you should install Fink. It, it, it once you install Fink, you get so much other great stuff with Fink that you could get anyway. So that's really why I love. Um, I, I wanted to make this video a while ago, but I never got around to it, so I'm finally making this video. So if you guys want to install Unix programs on your Mac, install Think. And if you didn't understand this video, if there was anything unclear, message me, and I'll make it more clear. So thanks for watching, Mac Kids in the One. Subscribe, and goodbye.